So uh, please draw the tree resulting from the first two node expansions if we're doing greedy search, greedy best first search on H. All right, that's enough, that's enough. Let's see what we got here. So, so we got H equals four at the root. Rumor has it they're gonna be three kids. Is that true? Ryan, what'd you get for, your, for one of the kids here? Uh, Just read them off to me, left to right, top to bottom. Yep. Yep. Blank seven five. All right, absolutely. Uh, and H for that is going to be six because this is out of place. That's out of place. That's out of place. That's correct. That's correct. This is not. That's and that's out of place. I get five for this. You don't count the blank. The blank is not a tile. Um, the, on that last, the way to think about it is on that last move where you finally slide that last tile into place, you, don't, you just made one move, but you've sort of fixed two things. So like if you count the blank, you would have fixed two things by making only one move. So you don't want to count moving the blank. So I get an H equals five for this configuration. Well, give, give me another kid, uh, uh, Tyler. Uh, two, eight, three. Yep. Mm hmm Seven, Yep. Excellent. And uh, let's see, what's out of place here? That's out of place. That's out of place. That's out of place. And that's it. I get this right? H equals three. All right. And what about what about the end here? Uh, who's been quiet? Uh, Pira? Is that your name? Priya. Priya, I'm sorry. Priya, tell me what the, is the, the third child here. Uh, 283. 264. 164. 75 blank. 75 blank, excellent. So I show these as being out of place, and oh my god, that's out of place, and that's out of place, and that's out of place, so it isn't looking so good. You get it, fi if H equals 5 for this, Priya? Ah, don't do that. Because then it's not admissible anymore. It's not admissible. Do I, I mean, I, no, it's not, it's just not. <laughs> one, two, look at this. I mean, one, eight, four. I mean, look at this state here, right? These are both out of place, but we're one move from the goal. Not two, one. It's so important. If you destroy this lower bound property, then all my highfalutin talk about how we're better than everyone else and we're going to preserve optimality totally goes out the window. <laughs> and I just look stupid. <laughs> so don't, lower bounds have to be lower bounds. Okay? Otherwise, it's like pride goeth before a fall kind of thing. Okay, so here's the incredible test. Which node is greedy best for search going to expand? Uh, Jen. Uh, yeah. Because H is, uh, what's, what's the frontier? What, do, what nodes are on the frontier after the first expansion? What's the search frontier look like? The open list, the queue? Uh, after, we, after we expand the root. So we pop the root, uh, we pop the initial state off the queue, the node containing the initial state. We pop that off the queue and we generate its kids. And they all go onto the queue. So they are the search frontier. So this is the search frontier after the first expansion. Okay, so, oh my god, now we've got a huge branching factor. This is painful. Um, so, so we're going to do this faster, faster, faster. Lee, read me the first two states. Uh, oh, okay, that's fine. Does anyone have an expansion for this wonderful, no good-looking note here? Jeff? Uh, two yeah. Three two blank three. three. Uh, one, eight, four. Uh-huh. Seven six five. Okay, and that's supposed to be blank. Okay. Oh, nice. So, th this is an optimization that everybody does, but nobody ever really talks about it much. So I'm really glad you brought it up. Um, it's called parent pruning. Now, I love my parents, uh, <laughs> so don't. This is not meant as anything about my parents, but. Uh, if you generate a kid that looks exactly like your parent, I mean, what's the point, right? 
That node has already had its chance in the sun. Um, so <laughs> just prune them right off. Because uh, you know that they're not going to be part of an optimal plan. I mean, that's the thinking. Yeah, we don't need to get into eugenics here or anything, but <laughs> they're not part of the final solution. Um, so uh, so the, from a philosophical point of view, the, the branching factor of this node, if we've pruned off one of the kids because it leads to a state we've already been to, if you want to think about it, the branching factor of this node is still kind of four, right? Because it's got one, two, three, four arcs going out of it, in a sense. So if that makes you feel better, because like I did say, the branching factor was at most four. So, um, But it's true that if you start with that in the middle at the root, then you definitely generate four kids. So I wasn't lying. Um, You're getting technical. You're getting technical. Branching factor. Um, when I think about branching factor, I think about one layer in a ratio against the previous layer. So like the average branching factor, especially when you start talking about heuristics, um, people often talk about the ratio of one layer to the next. Um, Average number of kids, that's how I usually think about it. So for me, it's a philosophical shift to think of the parent pointer as you know, an arc, a, a real arc. Um, OK, so we're going to prune off one of our kids because it's the same as our parents. So that's a great move, and it's totally legit, and it's good to document in your code that you're doing that because um, otherwise people get mad. Uh, another kid. Anyone have another kid here? Dylan. Yeah. Um, now, where are we, we? Are we moving towards a goal here? <laughs> What's the? Uh, I guess. I guess this is moving towards. Well, how many tiles are out of place here? We still have the same number out of place. This, oh, yeah. that's out of place. That's out of place, and that's out of place. But we are getting closer. What's the heuristic value here? Two's out of place. Eight's out of place. One's out of place. H out of plus H equals four. So, so far our heuristic is actually leading us along the solution path. Uh, no, that one's supposed to be the tail. <coughs> We've got two, eight, three, and that <coughs> one's on seven, six, five. Seven, six, five, yeah. And on the other. There's two eights and one that's uh, eight, 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 four. Yeah. Oh. So it's actually. That's a six. H is so H is three here. Oh, sigh. Well, anyway, one of the nodes with the lowest heuristic value is that one. If you were using the other, um, right. If we were using Manhattan distance, we'd be so set. Um, you mean another node with the same H value? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yeah. So can we just generate the last kid just for completeness sake? Uh, it's going to be, we already moved the eight, so we know we have the top row preserved. We've moved left, we've moved up, we can't move down. So the only thing we can do is move right. So uh, seven, six, five. So the four is out of place, the eight's out of place, the two's out of place, the one's out of place. This is h equals four. So. The heuristic is doing an okay job at steering us away from things that are bad and getting us towards things that are good. So um, greedy best for search is typically a, a pretty quick search method. It tends to find solutions pretty fast. Are they guaranteed to be optimal? Why not? Backwards. Backwards. I, what does backwards even mean here? Um, so this is the initial state of the board. And all of this that we're doing here is in our head. 
None of these are moves that are actually played. We're planning now. We're in the planning stages. So, so, so we're thinking ahead. We're projecting forward into alternative possible futures. All right? This is the kind of thing some people think animals don't know how to do. Thinking about things that are not actually the state of the world, future states of the world. What happens if I do this? What happens if I do that? Oh, if I do that and then I do these other things, what's happening? Oh, this is, if I do that and then this, that looks pretty good. Let's think more about that. So this is planning. This, our agent here is planning. Thinking about, about what actions to take. Maybe, I mean, these states of the board are not that great. They're still not at the goal, but we're thinking about doing them so that later on we'll reach the goal and, and finally be happy. So this is definitely goal-driven behavior. Um, it's, uh, yeah, good thing for the first week or two of AI. Um, so, but, but someone was saying, uh, you were talking about backing up. So um, a, a heuristic search never has to back up because we haven't really done anything. Um, now, if we explore down this line here where the heuristic is saying, oh, that's really great. Put that in the front of your queue. Expand that node next. And we generate the kids. And we go down. And maybe it turns out that there aren't any good goals down here. And eventually, we come and expand this node here. Like it comes to the front of the queue eventually. Um, in a sense, we've backed up in that we were considering stuff down here, and now we're considering stuff down here. In that sense, we've backed up. But we haven't really had to retract any moves or really backtrack in the sense of like our plan is going to be go down here and then generate the actions to come back up and then go down. Like, we're not going to generate a plan that looks like that. Am I, am I, is that am I making some sense? Everybody understand? OK. All right. So uh, the greedy algorithm. Uh, So I was asking about admissibility. Is it guaranteed to find an optimal solution? Somebody said no, but I didn't get a good reason. In order to, to get that, uh, it might just store the path that if it gets too removed, it's not optimal. Try again. Cheap or shorter, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm speaking probably too loosely. Uh, you know, H is trying to estimate the cost to go. And we assume that's what we're trying to minimize, whatever kind of cost it is. If, we were tr if our cost was number of moves, then H would be the number of moves to go. In this slide and tile puzzle, it is the number of moves. So we're all cool on that score. There's no, there's no issue there. But there is still an issue. Without psycho detection, it would not be able to get us to that. Or Without no, psycho sorry, detection. Sorry. Even without cycles, it's not guaranteed to return the optimal solution. Yeah. Whenever some computer scientist starts talking about guarantees and stuff, you have to start thinking real evil, evil stuff. Like, what's the evilest thing I could do to this algorithm and then maybe make it screw up? Joe, you have your hand up there? Yeah, the heuristic, you might have a bunch of nodes with the same heuristic. Maybe they both lie along optimal paths, but maybe they don't. In, in this one, they, one of the paths is three long, the other's four long. There we go. There we go. So definitely that one of them is not optimal. Um, can I just be even more evil than that? Like, that was a very sensible explanation. Nothing's telling you that H is good. H is guaranteed to be a lower bound. You know what's a lower bound? Zero. <laughs> H equals zero is like, it is a heuristic. It's like the world's worst heuristic. But it is a, it is a lower bound. So you could have all the nodes in your open list have the same H. They're all zero. Tell me how you're going to find the optimal solution now, big boy. I mean, no. It's just, you can't do it. So yeah. greedy search is totally not guaranteed to find the optimal solution because the heuristic could be crazy. In fact, yeah, it could be zero like in the entire part of the space where the solution isn't, and then it could be perfectly accurate in the area where the solution is. And therefore, it would look way too expensive compared to all these other infinite number of nodes that are all h equals zero. H equals zero. Nathan? Um, you're talking about the way that H is defined and the goal, right? Yeah. 
That's the, that's the, that's the algorithm. Yeah. Best first search, and you stop once, if I go back to it, it's, uh, this is the algorithm right here. If it's on a slide, if it's on half a slide, it's zoop, 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 zoop. If it's a goal, done. Sorting by the heuristic. So the greedy algorithm takes the heuristic into account, and sometimes that's great, but it's not admissible, and it's not even complete in infinite spaces. So that's not good. Um, plus, we have this open list, so we're using gobs of memory. So yuck. So greedy search is not the answer to life's problems, unfortunately. Okay.